Hello everyone and welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. Uh, grouse hunting opens up tomorrow and it's Friday today and I'm up here and so I went out today driving around looking just to see if I see any grouse. And I did see a few, but here in Minnesota right now until the 22nd of this month they have the special early goose season. And there happened to be a few of them around and I seen one and shot me a goose, which was nice, it's a smaller one. But uh, I'm going to get this cleaned up and I think we're just going to cook it over the fire. Well, a lot of people, when they shoot a goose, they'll, they just breast them out. And I like to get them all plucked so that it kind of saves some of that fat in there. It takes more time. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But I also enjoy eating the, the legs and the thighs on these also, so which you can miss out on if you're just going just gonna to breast them out. Now, this goose here... I believe it's a lesser Canada goose. We got graders and we have lessers here. And this, I mean, it's early in the season. It's duck season doesn't really, or the regular goose season doesn't start for another week and a half here. But, um, and we are quite a ways up north. So it could be a this year bird, but I don't, I'm not seeing a whole lot of pin feathers here. So I'm thinking that this is the subspecies of the Canada goose called the lesser Canada goose. Okay, well, we got her pretty well cleaned up here. I'm going to definitely want to save the gizzard and the heart. The heart's the best part. I don't know if you guys have ever kept the gizzard, but I like them. But you got to get this inside skin right here, this film off the other part. That stuff tastes rotten. Okay, well I'm going to finish cleaning this up and then we'll run it down to the lake and get it washed up. We're just gonna, this is just a rough wash right here. I'll run fresh water through it too. I mean, I wouldn't have to. This lake water is just fine, but I'll run some fresh water through there yet. Well, there we have it. It's all cleaned up. It looks just like you bought it from the store. Just about. <laughs> now, normally when I'm at home and I cook these, I wrap ducks and the geese in bacon. And then I fill the cavity up with, uh, sliced apples but and my apple tree is full all my apple trees are full of apples at home but I wasn't expecting to be shooting any geese up here I, I bought all my my license all my um, stamps everything so I was completely legal for it and the special season is going right now but usually we don't see a lot of geese up here I come up here to grouse hunt but this one it was just his day I was watching him with binoculars all the way across the lake and he swims all the way across the lake and then actually walks up on shore so what am I supposed to do 
I had to shoot him. Look at that, there's a BB right there. Okay, well, I'm going to get a fire going. Well, what I'm going to do, since I don't have any bacon, I am going to get a little bit of oil on this. Just some regular vegetable salad type oil. And then we're just going to season this up. I don't know, I've just tried this stuff. I bought it a couple months ago. It's pretty good stuff. I used to just use Lowry's all the time, but... And these two over here, we'll just cook them like a hot dog. Delicious. Let's see how the gizzard turned out here. A little crunchy on the outside there. That is really good. That's better than the heart is this time. Sometimes some of the ducks you shoot, the gizzards don't taste that good. This is really good. A lot of people don't like the consistency of them. I really do. I think it's time we check it, see how we're coming along. I would say that that is done. All right, let's pull it off that stick. There's the whole goose all cut up and cooked. Let's give it a little taste here. And that is absolutely delicious. Well, thanks a lot for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel on how to clean and cook a goose on the fire.